hello welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about the foam system and the panel that we're going to use today is the fike shp pro fike single hazard panel pro okay and that is what we're going to use and today we have two foam systems but when you look at the setup here we are using just one tank one foam tank and I'm gonna to explain to you why and I'm gonna to explain to you how it's gonna function so for here you can see two deluge valves two deluge valves this is absolutely different with an actuator and this actuator how it's gonna work I'm gonna show you everything so just stay tuned with me as we go to the panel first now this is the five panel and as I explained before in my other video, this this is a single hazard panel, okay. And what is happening here? There is this connections that it says the zone one, the detector one, detects two, input three, input four, input five. The zone one is being connected to the detectors that are inside. Mainly, this is in a generator room, so we are using heat detectors. Okay, so zone one is connected to heat detectors of zone one. Zone two is connected to heat detectors of zone two. The MRS, the third one, that is the input number three, is connected to the manual pull station. The fourth one is connected to the abort switch. But here is the case that we are going to use form system. So this signal, we are going uh, the input of the abort switch is going to be connected to the water flow and i'm going to show you where the water flow is the water flow is going to be on the pressure switch and from this side it's going to be the low pressure switch so here also we are not going to use low pressure switch because we are not going to use any cylinder um, as of fike fm 200 we are going to so what we what we are going to do is we are going to take it as a supervisory for the valve okay so the main valve that is connected here the main valve the main water valve that is going to come to the deluge we are going to interface it with it so that when somebody tempers with it the temper switch it will just activate then we can get a supervisor signal here this is the trouble signal and here we have the first stage alarm and the discharge alarm okay and here is the output devices to the bell the horn strobes and the solenoid valve okay so here we have two panels and it's just the same thing but I'm going to explain one to you and the programming I will just find time to explain to you how the dip switch programming is being done this is the power supply with the transformer and these are the two batteries that we're going to use we're going to use 12 volt 7 AH battery okay so like it's just mostly the same as the other video but the only difference is instead of us connecting to the agent release now we are not connecting to the agent release we are connecting it to the solenoid because we are going to use a solenoid so that is the difference okay so whenever we are using the foam system we are using the solenoid and thereby when we want to use the solenoid then it means we are going to put the dip switch number one on because that it is for the solenoid okay so stay tuned basically this is the deluge system okay and that is the, this is the foam system now we're gonna start from the scratch we're gonna start from where we get our water source from so this is where we are getting the water source from the water is coming from the underground through to the pump room okay so there is this piping it comes directly from here to this part to this okay so in case somebody tempers with this this is now in an open condition if somebody tries to close it the low pressure switch signal that is there it's going to be shown here when you temper with this one it's going to be shown in the panel okay then this is the deluge okay this is the deluge valve then from this deluge valve you go straight straight up to here this valve is the one that goes to the tank okay so from this we have a check valve then from this check valve we go to the bladder okay of the tank and this is the depth the volume of the the volume of the tank we have like 80% of foam inside 
and because of that we cannot just discharge this form so i will just make it and in another time i will just do the testing whenever we are doing any testing i will try as much as possible to come your way with it okay so how it works now there is this valve that is here this valve is in an open condition and this valve is always before the deluge means to say it's always it's a pilot line which always comes before the deluge valve so as for it to first pressurize the deluge system okay so let's take for instance this is the deluge valve okay for easy explanation the deluge valve how it works it has a bladder and the bladder inside the like let's say it has a diaphragm and with that diaphragm it's just like a valve and that valve is mostly also like a check valve so there is something we call a downward force and an upward force the downward force is the one that is coming from this pilot line okay to just so when it's being supplied it will just get a pressure this is the pressure gauge of it now i've released the water okay i've just closed i just don't want to make any alarm that's why so whenever you pressurize the system this is going to go up then it will pressurize the deluge so it's thereby closing it so that when there is the water that will be coming from the main line will just come then there will be a balance in the deluge valve so the upward and the downward force is going to be the same thing thereby not releasing any water in the system so from this pipeline going upwards there will not be any water inside okay so this pressure switch here is connected here directly to the about switch on that in the panel which i told you that it is for water flow so whenever there is a water flow there is going to be a signal that is going to be sent to this panel okay through this pressure switch okay so this is the downward the downward pressure gauge that i'm talking about so whenever you pressurize that is where you're going to see the pressure that you have in the system right so whenever the system is in normal condition and we want to activate it because there are two deluge valves which are interconnected so when you look at it here these valves are interconnected and with different so somebody will ask how is it gonna work so like let's see just look at this part there is this an actuator okay which is connected to the valve the valve will always be in normally closed condition so anytime any of the panels in case the left one or the right one activates, whichever that will activate has a different solenoid this is solenoid one and that is the solenoid the solenoid two is here okay this is the one and this is the two okay so when the solenoid one let's take this as to be the one when this one activates it's going to release water and when it releases water it will make the upward force less then the downward force can be able to overcome the upward force then the water will just flow through then the water will just come inside through this one there is this check valve the water will bypass through this check valve and go into the cylinder and go when it goes into the tank there is this bladder that is inside the pressure that is coming from here will squeeze the bladder thereby squeezing the foam quantity to just pass through here to go up okay now the water that is going to come here will just pass through this holes and just activate this actuator when it's activated it will just pull it forward thereby opening this valve so that there will be a water supply through this line to this valve which is normally open then directly will go so then directly the foam can be able to pass through through from this actuator to this check valve then it will go up okay then to just quench the fire or to just go to the source of where it's being activated 
okay so now if this opens there will be a foam concentrate that has been squeezed down it will pass here then pass through this valve and come through this check valve and go here to the proportional chamber this proportional chamber is where the proportion is being that that is where the water and foam quantity mixes then directly it will go and quench this fire okay so that is how it's gonna be so after the pressure is being released after everything is closed directly water will be lost from this hose then this actuator will come back to its original position thereby closing the valve okay then to the second part also as well it's also going to work the same thing so it will all be dependent on the solenoid that is going to be used all the mrs that you're going to activate this is the manual pull station for the water supply so whenever you pull you open this this you can just it's telling us to pull down when you pull down there will be a release of water from this chamber then the, the force will just go up and it will just work as i've explained all right so that is how the foam system works if you have any doubt you have any questions and you have any suggestions also you can just dm me or you can just contact me and i'll show you one thing here there is this valve that is here that is where we're going to do the testing also as well so when you want to test you are going to close the main discharge the one the main discharge valve then you are going to use the test line it's so simple as that okay if you have any doubt you have any question just hit me up and I'm going to be there for you. Thank you. Thank you.